So since we're talking about bones, that's a great segue to inform our audience about how many bones we have in our body. This is something this, that's fascinating about the show because we learn so much with everything the doctors tell us every single day. But there are more than 300 bones and joints in the human body, in case you didn't know that. And orthopedic doctors like you take care of all of these bones and joints. So I'd like you to walk over, if you will, doctor, to a 3D image of obviously the human skeleton. Fascinating that we are made up this way. Talk a little bit about how you treat orthopedic injuries. Give me a, a couple of examples and walk us through it. Olga, just like you're saying, there are so many bones in the human body. They are all over the place. Everywhere you see in your body, there's a bone. There's something holding you up. There's part of your skeleton. There's even tiny little bones inside of your ear that are practically microscopic. Now, what we focus on tends to usually be more along the limbs, the arms and the legs, the pelvis. Uh, but what the overlying theme mm -hmm. of our treatment really is let's get you back where you were. And the first portion of that is restoring the alignment of a bone, restoring the position of where a bone is supposed to be, restoring how the joint is supposed to work. It's putting things back together. And that's the whole point really of the surgeries that we do. For example, uh, a patient will come in with a broken hip, a broken femur. And this is an extremely important part of the body because this is part of what holds you up. And mm -hmm. it's what gives you the ability to get out of bed the ability to be able to move, the ability to walk from here to there. And it's amazing how much people take for granted the ability to get from right here to right there. And, uh, and patients, I'm sure, that are watching understand and know, yeah, and it really hurts like me to get that, out of bed. And the surgery like that, that you endure and the patient obviously has to undergo, takes about how much time? It depends, frankly. I mean, we have surgeries that take 15 to 20 minutes, and we have surgeries that take six to eight hours. And it's wow. a very, very different in different parts of the body and different complex areas that take a long time to get to very meticulously with surgery. But um, the point is, like I was saying, restore alignment and then focus on how to get you back on your feet, how to get you back to where you were as quickly as possible.